welcome back to my channel tomorrow or today for you watching this if you're watching it the day that I brought it out um, is the Priceline 40% off cosmetic sale Priceline holds a sale twice a year and it's a great time to stock up on the stuff you love and also a good time to try out some new stuff since it's close to Christmas it's also probably a good time to get some gifts for people if that's what you want to do. So I have a bunch of recommendations here uh, for stuff that I really love that you can get from Priceline and as we go through I'll also kind of mention the things that I'm planning on getting. Um, I think I'll just start like with base and then work on base products and just go in that order. I don't have a primer that I absolutely love. Um, I do have a primer that I love from Priceline but it's from Bioderma so it's in the skincare section so when 40% off skincare comes along you'll hear about that one. For foundation I have two recommendations for you. The first one is an oldie but a goodie and it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. This is Probably my favourite. If I had to pick one out of these two, this is probably my favourite foundation that you can get at Priceline. It just works so well with my combination skin, the colour is a perfect match for me, and I just love it. It's so good, and the good thing about this one is you don't have to use a primer because it's got one built in. I think this is about $18 to buy just normally, so with the discount, that would make it about $13-ish. The second foundation has been talked about everywhere, all over YouTube, but it's kind of new to me, and it's the... L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I really, really like the formula of this, um, especially with the oily parts of my skin. If you have dry skin, this one's probably not going to be your favourite. The funny thing is that I love this one and I hate the Maybelline one. Absolutely hate the Maybelline one. Sorry, Maybelline. But this one is really nice. My only complaint about this is that the colour is too dark for me, which means I have to mix my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops with it. So if you are as light as me or lighter than me, then you're not going to find a colour that matches. But if you're a bit darker or if you are planning on having a tan during the summer, this is really, really beautiful. And I think this one's around $30 uh, when it's not on sale. So it should be around $21. 21 or 18 10 percent off is three dollars three times four is twelve eighteen dollars oh bargain. moving on to the rest of the face i have face powder um, i have two face powders that i love but i chose just to talk about this one because it is holy grail status and it is my face of australia loose translucent powder this is so good i've never tried the laura mercier uh translucent powder but i think this is a pretty close dupe for it I think that it would be. I can use this for baking if you're into that. I'm not sure that I am, but you know, it's nice to try new things. Uh, you can use this just for like sitting all over the face. It's just, it's really, really beautiful and translucent, so it's not gonna like add color or coverage to your foundation. This one I talked about very, very early on in my channel, and I haven't used it for a long time, but I love it in summer. And it's this Luma um, Natural Beauty by Jess Hart bronzer. And the reason I haven't used it in winter at all is because it's got shimmer in it. This is what it looks like, and I don't know if you can, if the camera's going to like pick it up, but it does have quite a bit of shimmer in it. But just like all over in summer, it just gives you this beautiful glow, and it just makes you look really healthy and sun-kissed, and I love this one. No idea what the price is, sorry, but I will list all the prices down below and what the price will be when you apply the discount. I have quite a few blushes that I like from Priceline as well, but I had to narrow myself down to one, and I have been wearing this non-stop lately. It is the Max Factor Creme Puff Blush, and this is in the number 20 Lavish Mauve. I am going to be buying all of the other blushes, like this, um, from Max Factor during the sale. I think maybe there's two more, another one's, the other one's another mauve, and then I think maybe there's a peachy-ish one. These are very, very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. So if you haven't seen them before, go and look at them. They're beautiful. I think these are around $21 normally, so they should be 15 ish with a discount. I'm just making up those prices, by the way. I actually have not done the math that fast in my head. <laughs> oh, I should have mentioned concealer already, but I haven't. The two that I absolutely love from Priceline are both from Maybelline. The first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and the second is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm definitely going to be picking up another one of the Age Rewind Concealers because I used up my yellowish one in the color Light um, the other day. It was in my empties video, and so I desperately need to replace this. And this one I don't use as much, but I have really been liking it lately because 
I've only been wearing concealer and not foundation and this has been perfect for that. I just kind of put it kind of in my t-zone underneath my eyes and then just blend it out and it's been beautiful. People say that this is a dupe for the NARS one as well but again if you're lighter than me you will not find a colour that you can use for highlighting you might find a colour that you can use for actual spot concealing. Moving on to lips I have four lip products two lipsticks and two lip glosses. The first of them is this Bourjois uh, Rouge Edition Velvet and it's a matte finish it's like a liquid to matte lipstick this one is in the colour 07 and it's just kind of like a mauve colour oh it's called Nudist and this is what it looks like swatched, but I definitely recommend any of these if you are looking to get into liquid to matte lipsticks. These ones are the most comfortable that I've ever worn. They're a little bit, you do have to kind of layer them up a little bit, but that's totally fine. So much more comfortable than the Australis Velour Lips. So much more. The next lipstick that I have is this one here. It's by Rimmel and it's one of their Kate Moss lipsticks and it's from their new nude collection. This is in the number 42 and this is pretty much the perfect nude for my life. It's so good. But also the formula of these is just really nice. They're really nice and creamy. They're like opaque enough. They are a, I guess like a cream finisher. They're not going to like dry out your lips. And I find with nude lipsticks, if I wear one that's too matte, it really settles into like the cracks on my lines and the, the cracks on my lips and just makes them look disgusting and I'm not about that life but I love this I recommend any of the colors in this line just find like the nude that matches you the best actually the one lighter than this I think it might be number 40 I think is a pretty good like color dupe for myth by Mac also this is what I'm wearing right now I love it the first lip gloss that I have is this one by Rimmel and it's the oh my gloss lip gloss and it's supposed to say glossy for six hours I don't know if it does stay glossy for six hours, but it looks glossy. Like your lips will look wet when you're wearing this. And it's so hard to find a lip gloss like that now because so many are coming out that are so pigmented. This is just a clear one. I've never tried any of the other ones, so I don't know if they're good. But I really, really love this just for when you want to add a bit of like wetness to your lips it's so good my other favorite lip gloss is one that i've loved for ages this is the revlon super lustrous lip gloss and it's in the color supernatural it's just this beautiful natural pink color and i don't know if you'll be able to see it but there's a swatch of it here it's just really beautiful you can put this pretty much on top of any lipstick and it will just yeah give you that kind of gloss look Unfortunately, I don't have any brow products that I recommend from Priceline, just like none of them have ever really worked out for me that well. I do have the Natio kit, but I don't love it. I don't have any mascaras because I've become a huge mascara snob, and I don't know, I like high-end mascaras now, so I haven't used one from Priceline in ages, and I don't want to recommend something that I don't love. I don't have any eyeshadows because I just don't... That's a lie. I have one that I love. Oh, how could I forget? This is the L'Oreal La Couleur Infallible. Uh, it's like a pressed pigment eyeshadow. This is in the color Forever Pink, but all of them are beautiful. And this is what it looks like. These are stunning. Stunning. You get so much product in there. You don't need that much. It's like full on shimmer on your eye. So if that's what you're into, get one of these. And they're pretty expensive normally. I think they're like $20 normally which would make them like $12 in the sale which is totally totally worth it they are absolutely amazing the other eyeshadows that I want to talk about I don't love but there is something about it that I love and that is these models prefer um, eyeshadow palettes this one is in day to night and like it's not horrible oh I just put my finger in it it's not horrible it's got all these colors they're not that pigmented but they're not like awful I have used this before I just, it's not what I reach for because I just feel like mid to high end eyeshadows are so much better and they're just way more worth it. But what is worth it about this palette is this brush. This brush, holy moly, I love this brush. This end here is so good. This is like the perfect perfect blending brush. You know how everybody talks about the Sigma E40? Mm -mm, you don't need it. You need this model prefer brush. It's so good. Oh, I am going to buy maybe two or three more of those palettes just for the brush, which is a total waste, but you can't buy the brush separately. So that sucks. Like, 
what are they trying to do to me? And also, this little flat shader side is nothing special, but it works beautifully, and you can use it to pack colour all over the lid, and it's actually nice because when you spray, like, um, Fix Plus, like, a setting spray on your eyeshadow to make it more shimmery, it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't make the brush go like yucky. It's beautiful. This brush is worth the $10 that this palette is normally. With the sale, the palette's six bucks. Six dollars for this brush. Like, that's, that's more than worth it. Like, I may buy four palettes and spend $24 and get four amazing brushes. Because you can never have too many blending brushes. You just can't. It's impossible. Anyway, sorry for that little rant about the brush, but I just love it. <laughs> Um, that is all of my recommendations for the Priceline sale. I may also pick up the Models Prefer uh, contour kit because I wanted, I just got the DB one and I want to check, like, do a little comparison between the Models Prefer one, the DB one, and the Australis one. Um, but I think that's all. There's not really that much that I want to pick up, really. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, have fun shopping, and I'll see you next time. Bye!